Yes, I am walking through the streets with me trolley with a special guest new to the channel, Lewis Johnson. Say hello, Lewis. Hiya, you okay? Hiya, you okay? <laughs> <laughs> what, a great, what, a, what a great screen debut! <laughs> right. Okay, I'm going to start that one again. Yeah. We are here. I'm walking through the streets. You know, I'm in North Berwick, as you know, one of my favourite places on the planet to play golf and do other things as well. Really, I love it up here. But anyway. We are on our way to the first tee at North Berwick Golf Club. I am with, joined by Lewis Johnson. Lewis is a PGA professional golfer. And we're gonna have a match in it, Lou. We are, we are, morning. Um, Not so, many places we can walk to the golf club, is there? No, it's probably, we're staying at a place called Nether Abbey. I'm gonna show you around that place a bit later on, but it's about five, 10 minutes, probably more like 10 minutes. I did tell Louis it was a two minute walk. It's looking like about a 10 minute walk at the minute. And uh, we're going to play, so what I'm going to do over the next couple of days anyway, I'm going to film, I mean, fly and visit, 24 hours, in and out, two games of golf, let's go down here Lou, and uh, I'm going to film vlog style for the two days of the old thing, and then we're going to film a couple of course vlogs of a bit of a matchup between me and Lou, and we're about to see North Berwick Golf Club for the first time. It's not the best view. <laughs> but believe me, when we get on that golf course, Louis, you're going to love it. Really looking Never been to before, it. have you? Never been, nope. Really looking forward Your to it. Your mum and dad love it up here. They do, they do, they come every Big year. fans of North Berwick, but Lewis never bothered coming, but now he's about to have a game with the average golfer. Against the average Against. Golfer. What do you reckon? Fancy my chances. First time on the channel and he's already beaten me up. Anyway, that's it. I'll see you. I'll switch it off for now and uh, I'll speak to you somewhere out on that golf course. Right, we're on the way to the first tee. Just had breakfast. Breakfast, what do you have? Bacon sarni, Lou? Yeah, yeah. Thumbs up for the breakfast. That's the 18th there. Can't wait to, well, I don't want to get, I don't want to rush it and get to the 18th, but that's a great finishing hole. Can't wait to get on that first tee. Starters us is uh, 100 yards. Ryan, put, he's got a great spec for the start, you know. Absolutely, yeah. That's the best office better you'll ever the, see. Better than the pro. Yeah, the pros isn't down there. That's a pros shop, and that's a starters us. And he's got glass windows on the other side of that pro shop with an absolute stunning view. Maybe not today, but on a sunny day, it's gorgeous. Anyway, let's go and play some golf. He's up there. The green's up there. <laughs> the green's over the other way. Joking. Of course I am. Right, we're off. First <laughs> tee has gone. Tried to give Louis a bit of duff information, but now he was switched on. Hopefully it's not too windy and you pick us up all right. Uh, two decent tee shots down the middle to get started. Best story of the day so far. The disappointment in the clubhouse when they realised that Andy Sullivan was not the Ping PGA Tour Pro Andy Sullivan. It was me, the average golfer. So many disappointed faces in that clubhouse. Breather, we're on the 10th tee, 10th? Yeah. Middle uh, of the match, but who is Lewis Johnson, mate? Where are you from? Yeah, What's so your name and where do you come from? Yeah, Lewis Johnson, PGA professional. Um, so, started my PGA golf at Chester Golf Club. Um, so, worked there for nearly six years, until uh, about 2016, late 2016. Uh, went out to Australia in Melbourne, uh, golf in Haven, you know, Royal Melbourne, Kings and Heath. Where did you work? Uh, we're at Albert Park, right in the middle of the city. Uh, great on the Grand Prix track there, lovely city, most livable city in the world. I uh, was out there coaching, 
uh, working at Albert Park for about 18 months. How did the temperature compare to North Berwick this to is, Melbourne Park? This is very cold, very cold. Um, about 30 degrees in Melbourne at the moment. Did they get the breeze at all? Does it ever get up yeah, the breeze? Yeah, right on the bay there, breezy, sand belt, beautiful. If any of you have watched the World Cup of Golf lately, Metropolitan, obviously they had four seasons in, four, four rounds there. Right. Uh, great golf course again, just about 20 minutes down the road from where I worked. Um, and and we, we started playing how long ago? Was a long it? time ago, 10 years ago. Was 10 it? 10 years ago, captain yeah. of Northup Golf Club 2008. Yeah. Nine. Well, I don't know, mate. Can't yeah, remember. It was ten, a long time ten, ago. Ten years ago, Andy Sullivan we used to play winter league. I was going to say we played against with each other and against, and each, against other. each other. And against each other. Yeah, yeah. I was about as successful as I am being over the front nine today. No, I think you whooped me always, most times, mate. Yo, you always yo. had the one up. Yeah, yeah. But uh, a few more shots now. Yeah, I've got a few, I've few more shots. A few more shots for you. I've Can't gone down a slippery slope, haven't I? But yeah, ten years ago. We started playing, didn't we? So we're having a good time here at North Berwick. It's it's been tough because we had, a, like I said, have moaned about it throughout the uh, match that we're doing. It was a bit of a what a group chased us. They want to play some really quick golf here, and uh, we were literally running away at two we of were, us. We were running, yeah. But uh, I have to say it affected my golf. But I'm just going to show you. You know, I mean, just that's the view from this. What do you say? Tenth is it? Tenth tee. tee. That's the view. That's a little par three we're playing next summer months this is absolutely gorgeous one of my favorite places to be but we're going to be here and then we're going off to Gullen so our night out around North Berwick tonight uh, we'll have a bit more video and a bit more from uh, a bit more from Lewis when he's had six pints inside him right so we're now walking back down 18 last time you've seen us was walking off to the tea had our little match you need to check out that one to see uh, where that all finished good day though Lou fabulous first time here nice great isn't it? course great setting right in the middle of the town yeah Beautiful town, unbelievable course if you've never been here. That's where we're going next, town I think. Right? Town. The one good thing about walking to the clubhouse with your bag in the morning is you don't have to worry about having a drink in a clubhouse after, no one's driving. We're going to have a few pints in here, off into town, a few pints tonight, and then up early again, do it all again mate at Cullen. Ooh, decent that though isn't it? That. That's a nice room. Quick scan around the place. Luggage is here brought up to the room. Nice that Lou, isn't it? Very nice. Very nice, yeah. Really ba nice place. Bathroom through there. Staff really good. Well, we just had a pint in the bar. And uh, I've been to Nether Abbey before for a drink and for something to eat. Food's good. Always a great atmosphere. They've got all the TVs and all that, you know, for the sports bar and all that. Yeah. It's always really good. Atmosphere. Good atmosphere. Well, I've never seen the rooms, but uh, to be fair, more than happy with that, you don't snore do you Lou? Right so quick shower and change in Nether Abbey and uh, we're just taking a wander through North Berwick. A few pints in North Berwick Lou up for that? Sounds good to me. Beautiful place. It's a nice side street, the Christmas lights around, all very nice. We're going to the Ship Inn which is the first pub we're going to go to and make a bit of a wander back. I'm not feeling Edinburgh on the train tonight mate are you? Oh. You're not nice, ready for the going? Night, the night seven, is young. Maybe get back to you in an hour or two on the train to Edinburgh. Looking forward to Gullen in the morning. I won't tell you the results of today's match, but one of us will be looking for revenge tomorrow, mate. Yes. One of us will be drinking a few more pints tonight. Definitely. Not giving now away. So uh, let's go have a pint in the ship. a walk back that I spoke to you on earlier on in the night maybe a little bit struggling in terms of my uh, vocabulary right now a few more pints down us Louis feeling good fabulous Most feeling absolutely fabulous what a place North Berwick well considering we're on December I don't know what the date is it's the 7th fresh as a daisy in a t-shirt I said it's December the 7th fresh as a daisy in a t-shirt no, it's still December the 6th, man. It's still December the 6th. Quarter to 11. Hans got his woolly hat on. Quarter to 3 in the morning, it is. Quarter to 3 in the morning, we're just staggering in. We've had a really late night and 24 pints I had. <coughs> you have? Yeah. No. 23 at least. 23. <coughs> Game on tomorrow. Bring on Gullen. Bring on part 7 of yeah. the match. Louis, yeah. 
Got it, got it all to play for tomorrow, I think. Got it all to play for tomorrow. Door number one, Scottish Open venue. See you in the morning. I don't even know why that was on record, you know. Right, so day one comes to an end. We've just finished, it's a long night. What time is it, Lou? Oh, at least one in the morning, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Quarter three. It's about half ten and we're on our way in. <laughs> but a good night out by all. We're back at the Nether Abbey. Day two tomorrow. December the what? <laughs> Six <seven>. <laughs> 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 right, morning of day two, breakfast time at um, Nether Abbey, and main breakfast hasn't come yet, but the uh, cold stuff, bit of uh, rice crispies there, nice oh, little starter. I'm happy with that, yeah. happy with that, service really good, I like it, Adrian. Really nice, yeah. Very nice place, so we're going to have a quick breakfast, jump in a car, over to Portland, where I'm going to do an interview with Stuart Duff, who's course manager there. And that'll be a separate video, so I'm really interested in doing that. Going on the top, top course, held uh, Scottish Open twice in the last three years, four years. Uh, so I'm really interested to speak to Stuart, and then I'll be out there on the course. It's a bit windy. Very windy, weather warning windy. It is weather warning windy, yeah, so not the place you want to play golf, really. Gullen is exposed, to say the least, and it's high. There's no hiding places, so it's going to be a tough, tough one to try and film. Never mind play. I'll be all right. Words of wisdom there from the average golf club. Right, got me sausage. What have I got? I've got bacon and egg. You've got sausages. Sausage and bacon. Yeah. Come for Ready for that. <laughs> Right, thank you for joining the Average Golfer. I am here at Gullen Golf Club, but I'm taking shelter in a starter's resort, and that's before we've even got to the first tee, because if I do any kind of recording out there, you won't hear a word I say. It is, I've got Alan alongside me as a starter. It's, uh, it's a bit rough, isn't it? It's breezy. It's breezy. It's a light breeze, they call it up here, but for us, I tell you, it's, it's knocking you off your feet. So what I'm gonna do, I'll record as much footage as I can out there on the course. There'll be very little talking, because like I said, you just wouldn't hear a single word I say. So uh, wish us luck. Great shot from Louis to start it all off. Oh, that's not a sign of things to come. It's a sign of old age, that hand. Jesus! 